Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and I'm really excited about today's video because this is a pen I've had my eye on for basically the whole time that we've had Pilot. This is the Pilot Decimo, which has been available from Japan for a long time. I don't know exactly how long, but it's something I've been getting asked about here for a very long time because it's basically a smaller version of the very popular Pilot Vanishing Point. This is a one of the only click retractable fountain pens that's out there, and it's extremely popular. It's a great price point for a gold nib pen except for some people it's just a little too big. So this slimmer, lighter version is gonna be fantastically popular. So there are a few differences with the pen and one of them is the color offerings. There are four colors that are coming out with the Decimo. The first one is burgundy. And this is actually one of the ones that I like the most that I personally find most appealing. It's a deep red color. Champagne has a hint of pink to it. So it's very heavy gold, just a little hint of pink. The light blue is actually very similar to the blue that's in the Metal Falcon. And then the purple is really kind of more of a lavender. And all of these colors have a nice sparkly tone to them, very uniform color across the body, but it's very kind of metallic looking. And the burgundy and light blue both actually are similar in color to what you see on the Pilot Metal Falcon. The champagne and the purple are kind of unique colors that Pilot is coming out with. So holding it in my hand, it's slimmer than the Vanishing Point. It's about 11.3 millimeters in diameter versus the 13 millimeter Vanishing Point. And the clip is on the grip end because of that retractable nib. So it can take some getting used to because typically fountain pens, the clip is on the opposite end when you post the pen. Some people have kind of a hard time getting used to the grip because of that clip, but honestly, probably not as many as you think. Most people, it's really not too bad, whether you have a three or a four finger grip. I'm the three finger, my wife is the four, and both of us really love the vanishing point. But if you're getting the pen new for the first time, it probably is best for you to hold it in your hand and just try dry writing with it before you ink it up. That way, if you find the clip is just too bothersome, you can return it and get a full credit for a new pen and not have to worry about having used it before. The weight is significantly lighter than the Vanishing Point. The Vanishing Point is 31 grams overall, and the Decimo is just over 20 grams. So even though the pen doesn't look that drastically different, it's significantly lighter, very noticeable. But it still feels very balanced and feels great in the hand. One of the best things about the Vanishing Point and the Decimo is that they actually use the same nib unit. So if you have Vanishing Point nibs already, they fit on the Decimo. If you get the Decimo, you can put on the Vanishing Point, yada, 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 it's great. So all the nib offerings are the same. If you've used the Vanishing Point before, you've basically used the Decimo. It's an 18 karat gold nib that's available on extra fine, fine, and medium coming on the Decimo. It's not gonna be coming with a broad or a stub on the pen. However, the nib units are interchangeable. So if you have a broad or a stub, if you wanna buy one separately, you can put it on on the pen, it's just not gonna be available in those nib sizes on the Decimo to begin with, if that makes any sense. That's just the way that Pilot's doing it. Now, it used to be kind of a bargain at only about $61, but the price recently jumped quite a bit, so it's now $81.15 to get a separate nib unit. It's not really a no-brainer, but if you have to have that broad or that stub, it still is possible. So as far as how the nibs actually write, the extra fine is very fine. Now this is a Japanese brand, so the extra fine and fine are on the finer side. It's gonna be about a full size smaller than most of your European pen brands. However, by the time you get up to the medium, it is quite a bit of a jump up from the fine, and it's gonna fit more in line with the European nib. So the medium, the broad, and even the stub are going to be broader, wetter, and things like that. It's just the extra fine and fine that are kind of on the thin side. But the extra fine, because it's so fine, you have to write with a very light hand, otherwise it can feel scratchy. But once you get to the fine, and definitely the medium and beyond, you don't really have to be quite as light-handed. The Decimo, just like the Vanishing Point, uses the Pilot proprietary cartridge and converter, which it comes with a cartridge, cartridge cap, and a Con 50, which later in 2016 is going to switch over to the Con 40, which is very similar to the Con 50, it's just a piston-filling converter pen. The ink capacity is going to be just over a milliliter if you're using a cartridge and just under a milliliter if you're using a converter. So the MSRP on the Decimo is $175, but at GouletPens.com we're going to be selling it for $140, which is actually the kind of old price of where the Vanishing Point was. Vanishing Point's now gone up a little bit to about $148, so it's going to be just a little bit less expensive than the Vanishing Point will be. But if you want to learn more about it and check out more pictures and detailed technical specifications about the pen, you can check it out on GouletPens.com and you can purchase it there if you are so inclined or if it's before we actually have them available, you can sign up for an email notification list and then you can find out exactly when we are going to have them. 
If you like this video and you want to get more like it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any opinions about the pen or questions, I'd love to hear what you have to say on YouTube or on our blog. Thanks so much for watching and right on.